One of the main locations in the novel is Dnipro. The city um, I hadn't been, I hadn't visited Dnipro before I started writing the novel. Um, but the more uh, I, uh, I learned about Dnipro, the more interesting I became uh, of the city. Uh, and I noticed that there are quite many uh, wealthy businessmen and suspicious uh, businessmen, men of power, who uh, came from Dnipro, uh, and uh, it seemed like a city of power, and I am writing about power, so I became interested in Dnipro because of that, but when I went to Dnipro, I was totally, I was totally overwhelmed by the, s by the uh, beauty of the city, and um, I, I really loved it, and I'm, I'm recommending every single Finn to go to visit Dnipro, which is, which is not a typical tourist city, perhaps, but it is definitely a charmer, I'd say. Um, and um, it felt uh, like a very good location for the novel about power, corruption and uh, power structures. Um, and then uh, we also, also visit Odessa and Kiev and Liv as well. Um, and um, and then the eastern Ukraine as well. Um, when um, when I um <coughs> I visited uh, Ukraine uh, when I was younger, one of the things that really uh, struck me uh, was uh, the use of. Soviet era symbols, um, because I remember very well uh, when in Estonia people started to topple the Lenin statues. Uh, it was uh, it was a kind of big thing for me, because I didn't I hadn't I hadn't thought about before that you can actually topple the statues. You can topple the statues of bad rulers, and um, it was kind of um, time travel for me to then to visit Ukraine and, for example, uh, uh, see those I islands of Soviet symbols. And, um, and, and in, in um, and what, 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 I, uh, what I think is that uh, symbols of dictatorships and totalitarian regimes cannot breathe the same air as the symbols of democratic states or democratic rule. So you cannot just simply have them in the same place. So I, I have welcomed uh, definitely the, uh, the, the toppling of the statues in Ukraine and uh, also the decommunism uh, de laws as well. And um, also I have been th very much impressed by the, uh, by the change, uh, change of, uh, of, the, uh, of all sorts of things in, in Ukraine uh, since the revolution of dignity. Um, and uh, of course, the path to democracy is long and painful. So I, I do hope that you have the patience for it. Oh, this needs to go fast.